This is a quick follow-up video of the GMK Knuckbox G5, and this is based on user feedback from the last video I made. Now the things I'm going to address are the power coming out from the USB ports, and it's nothing real technical, but I did have some issues with the M.2 to USB adapter here, especially running the Samsung 970 EVO Plus M.2 SSD. I did try a couple other SSDs real quick, and they didn't seem to exhibit the issue, but we'll, we'll revisit that, and I'm going to be using a pluggable USB adapter as well to see if that resolves it. Additionally, I have this powered USB hub, so if this truly is a power issue, if it has its own power, that should resolve the problem. Additionally, I'm going to be doing a full virus scan using malware bytes as well as Bitdefender just to get an idea, make sure that there's no issues here. I don't think there is. I know a couple users had some concerns there with this, with the pre-installation of the Windows that's on there. I don't think it's a problem, seriously. But I will show you those results. And on that front, I'm actually going to do a clean install of Windows 11 to check for a couple things. I'll be using USB drive to install it. And then I'm going to be using the WD Black SN770. It's a PCIe 4.0 4X PCIe Lane SSD, so it's plenty fast. So I'm going to be checking for a couple things here. And one is what is the actual speed of the M.2 port in this device? And also, can we activate the Windows 11 license without a problem? All right, now I'm going to revisit this USB adapter real quick for M.2 SSDs. Whereas when I use the 970 EVO Plus, it would attach and reattach randomly. So we'll go ahead and plug this uh, Samsung 970 EVO Plus into here. Plug it in here. And of course, this time it works. Oh, nope, they're just disconnected and reattached. All right, so I manually just unplugged it, and I'm going to try it with this other USB adapter here that's pluggable. Same issue. Now I'm going to plug in this WD Black SN770. All right, well now it seems like it's having an issue with this as well. Plug it in the other USB port. Okay, so something is clearly going on there. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this USB powered USB 3 adapter, plug it into here. Of course it's USB-C. Right, so I have this four port USB 3 adapter and it's got individual buttons for each of the USB ports and I had to use a different cable here because when it came with it is a USB-C to this USB I forget what that's called but uh, and I had to get this I only have a USB-A port on this little guy here because the USB-C port is only for power so I'm going to go ahead and plug this into here okay and then I'm going to go ahead and plug the Samsung 970 EVO Plus into here. Okay, it showed up. Let's see if it disappears. So I've had this running for a few minutes now, and uh, I transferred some files, and everything seems to be working perfectly fine now. So it seems like it may be a power issue with the uh, USB port on this device, because now that it's connected to a powered USB hub, it doesn't seem to have any issues, and it stays connected. From my last review of this GMK Tech Knuckbox G5, there were some concerns with whether or not there's any spyware or something in the Windows 11 installation that's on this device. I really don't think so, but I'm going to do a malware bytes into malware and Bitdefender scan, and just to be sure, but it should be clean. I'm also gonna do a clean install of Windows 11 too on the NVMe drive and get some performance metrics on that as well. So here I'm in malware bytes and going to settings here, and I'm going to Turn on even root kits, so everything is activated here. I'll go ahead and go back to the dashboard and do a full scan. All right, scan is complete. You can see here no threats were detected. And so this is the stock Windows install that came with the device. 
And if we go ahead and look at the scan report, no items detected, advanced, and no issues with malware bytes. Now I'm going to run Bitdefender. Bitdefender just finished doing a full scan, and you can see here the system is clean. And we go ahead and view log. A number of password protected files, which is probably pretty normal, Minecraft crap. Okay, I have the uh, WD SN770 WD Black M.2 NVMe SSD plugged into here. Obviously, I have to tape it down because it's not a 2242 form factor. I'm plugged in with Windows 11 ready to install. So we can check it for one, if the key activates just fine with a clean install of Windows, and two, check the overall performance of the SSD, the M.2 SSD slot. And I'll pop Crystal Disk Mark on the screen here real quick, and you can see that when this is plugged into a PCIe slot and a PCIe adapter, it uh, maxes out at about 3400 to 3500 megabyte per second sequential read and write speed. So this should be able to adequately, adequately detect the speed of that slot up to a PCIe 3.0 1x, or sorry, 4x lane. Chances are this is probably just a 1x lane. Okay, on a clean install of Windows 11 or 10, if you get to this point and it doesn't let you con continue without connecting, you can do a Shift F10, click in the box, and type oob, O-O-B-E, slash bypass, and RO. And it'll reboot, and when it reboots, it should uh, allow you to skip having a network connection. All right, we're back to the installation process. Okay, now it gives you the option to select I don't have internet. All right, now that we're in Windows, I'm going to go ahead and hook up the network cable. You can see here there's a number of device drivers missing. All right now these drivers and stuff are updating, but I'm going to go here and go to right click, go to system, and check to see if we can activate this guy. Go down here and go to product key and activation, activation state. And it shows it as being activated with a digital license for Windows 11 Pro. So a clean install detects it right away and it seems to be no issue. Device Manager seems to have some issues. Now if we go to the GMK Tech website, go to Firmware Update. And driver for every model and the G5 has been updated. It's the G5 and Windows 11. And of course using Google Drive it says download coda exceeded so you can't download this file. Great. I'm going to let this update for a little bit and we'll come back when everything's been updated. Okay, after all the Windows updates, there's still some missing device drivers. I was able to download them from GMK Tech website. I extracted the files and I put them on a USB flash drive here and I'm going to install them this way. So if you want to install drivers in Windows 11 and are okay with just the default drivers that Windows gives you, you will just need the GPIO and the HID drivers from GMK Tech. I ran the GPIO driver files through VirusTotal and they came back all clean. I also ran the HID driver files through VirusTotal and they also came back clean. Now let's take a closer look at that M.2 NVMe drive. Now interesting, you can see here that it says PCIe 3.0 X2. It appears I did not have my microphone on when I was recording this part about the M.2 SSD, but uh, I do have a screenshot here we can talk around. And you'll see over here we've got the Crystal Disk Info for the WD Black SN770 that we're testing in the uh, M.2 slot. And I did test this first in a PCIe 3.0 X4 slot in the desktop. And you can see here, this is the performance of that SSD. Now taking that same SSD and putting it in the M.2 slot in this GMK Tech Nuckbox G5, you can see here, here's the result here. It's uh, pretty much cut in half, but it's still, if you look over here, this is the SATA drive that came with the Nuckbox. Results are over here. And so this is roughly about 
three times the sequential read and write performance as the SATA drive and roughly about uh, one and a half to two times the performance, at least the read side of things for the 4K random uh, assessment. And then when it comes to the 4K write, it seems it's about the same there. So either way, it's good to see that it is a PCIe 3.0 X2 slot as opposed to just an X1. So if you want to upgrade your SSD in this NUC box, get an NVMe and uh, you should see a significant improvement in performance. Now I also did a boot test I believe with a set SSD, it was like 24 seconds to boot, which is plenty quick. And I really didn't see much of an improvement using the NVMe drive. To be honest with you, I wouldn't expect it to be a whole lot faster. But either way, um, you're probably going to get better overall performance just by using an NVMe drive anyways in general use. So in conclusion, what did we learn? For one, we found out that the uh, USB port is underpowered and it wasn't able to support a couple of the M.2 NVMe drives that I tried. So you need to use a powered uh, USB adapter if you want to go that route. Although USB flash drives seem to work just fine, which is understandable. Those don't draw nearly as much power. The stock Windows 11 install that comes on the M.2 SATA SSD seem to be free of any kind of malware or spyware or roots or root kits or anything like that. So uh, no concerns there. However, if you do want to install your own version of Windows 11, there's no problems there. They do offer drivers on their website, and uh, it does activate perfectly fine. And also, it's a pleasant surprise here is to see that the uh, M.2 slot is actually PCIe 3.0 X2 speed, and we can see here that here's the performance that we got out of that uh, WD SN770 SSD. Here it's the fastest performance in a desktop, and here it is in this GMK NUC. G5. So hopefully this answers a lot of your questions that you had from the previous video. Sorry I didn't go through this before. I didn't really think, I thought the video was long enough as it was and this was kind of extraneous stuff. But next time I'll make sure I try to include this if I do actually do some kind of testing like that up front and uh, kind of do a little bit more detail look at it as well. So hope you found this helpful. Until next time, talk to you later.